Okay? So uh, I'm here with Stephanie. Stephanie sent me an interesting email talking about Walmart. And we're talking about Walmart in terms of uh, sustainability issues. And she did a little bit of research and sent me something which is very interesting. I thought what we do is just talk about it in this little video. This uh, report that Stephanie is referring to is a document titled Walmart's Sustainability Initiative, a Civil Society Critique. It was uh, created by an organization called the Big, Big Box Collaborative in 2007. Um, so in terms of organic... So you talked about things to do with organics, sustainable seafood, and some illegal logging. What, do you, what are the things you found? Um, um, Walmart is um, often misrepresenting conventional food items um, as organic, um, and this uh, charges the company um, tempted, um, to get organics um, at any cost. So they go to companies such as... So what you're saying is uh, if Walmart has a low, low price on things that they call organic, but they're not really organic, let's yeah. say organic cheese, then other people who are selling real organic cheese, they're going to have to have to have their price lower to compete with the Walmart price. Yeah. So in a sense, it's kind of an unethical thing because they're forcing the organic prices lower because they forced this company to identify itself as organic, but maybe it's not really. Right, and also um, the companies itself, like um, they originally they may be organic, but um, because they're operating in like China, mm -hmm. they don't have as um, strict regulations. Right. So if they say there's no pesticides used, it might not be the case. There may be some pesticides. Yeah. If they say there's no herbicide, no particular type of fertilizer, that might not be true. Right. There's no validation of that. Okay. Yeah. Sustainable uh, seafood thing. Um, what do we mean by sustainable seafood? Um, so there are certain areas like environment um, that uh, you could only fish a certain amount. Right, like um, off the Grand Banks of Newfoundland, you can only get a certain amount of cod and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, in terms of Walmart, because they're such a huge retailer, right. and they have so many branches across North America, that um, for them to get uh, fish or seafood from um, a couple uh, fisheries, it's um, because it's such a massive scale yeah. that it's no longer sustainable right. um, and it doesn't um, it it doesn't uh, it affects the biodiversity of the environment okay that's a good point so the quantity that they're getting uh, of these particular species from some of these areas brings into question whether or not the resulting stock is large enough to be able to procreate and recover from the amount that was harvested all right good point uh, illegal logging. Walmart said it would remove illegal wood products from the supply chain. What happened? Um, well, because uh, Walmart always demands the lowest prices, and each, every year um, they want lower and lower prices from the suppliers, mm -hmm. um, that many of the suppliers can no longer supply um, legally with the, the lumber that they get. So they usually go into um, protected areas and do some illegal law. Um, like that forced in Indonesia, for example. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Um, so they um, do illegal logging and Walmart is still um, taking in this product, but mm. they're not um, telling uh, the shareholders that this is partially illegal. Mm -hmm. um, interesting, yeah. interesting. Well, thank you very much for doing up some of this uh, research and uh, I'm sure the students will be very interested to know some of these points. Thank you. Thank you.